first place can be quite nerve wracking, no matter who you are. Say you've been talking for a while and you've finally mustered up the courage to ask her out. Days go by and now it's the fateful day. Now what? I always say preparation is key. The first thing I'll do is to prep my face using a face wash from Lab Series which gets rid of all of the dead skin and it leaves your face feeling really fresh. Now on to tidying up my beard and getting it smooth, soft and shiny. Don't be afraid of that beard serum either. You'll want it nice and soft, just in case. Now to pop on some moisturiser. Potentially this is the biggest interview in your life, right? So I use this to keep my skin hydrated through the day. Now, they say your eyes are the windows to your soul, so you've got to have a little window dressing. Eye contact on dates is really important, so give those bags a lick of paint. With my hair, I use Beckham's Pomade from House 99. This will last about seven to eight hours, and since it's water-based, it washes out well and gives my barnet some luster, which I like. Now, when you're applying some aftershave, make sure it's something light and fresh. Pushy, not assertive, as I say. Something like Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. Once this is done, it's onto your date outfit. At the end of the day, make sure you wear something you feel comfortable with. For me, I like to go simple, but shows that I still made an effort. For example, I'm wearing a printed shirt, a plain white t-shirt, some navy jeans, and some Chelsea boots that never go out of style. And don't forget to accessorise. No matter where you've met a girl, whether it's online, through social media, dating apps, or what have you, if you want to make a good impression, look for some conversation starters, where she's been traveling or some mutual interests perhaps give her profile one last eyeball on your way over. Some may call it semi-stalkerish, but I call it good old-fashioned research. My name is Cole Thompson, a lifestyle blogger from London. <laughs>